Hey everybody, welcome to Vlogmas, day 19. Hey everybody, Dave Neal here. Welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas. In today's episode, I broke down Tasha's car at a Starbucks and we sent out some Christmas cards. So the other day I was filming a rooftop video on that windy day and some of my equipment blew off the roof into the alley. So um, I got a broomstick and I'm gonna go try to get it. This little uh, foam piece that goes onto one of my recording devices. I've had it for six years. It's got some sentimental value. This right there, thing right there. Stick in there. Hey. That was easy. One man's trash is another man's treasure. This little piece of foam goes on top of one of my microphones. It's just like the foam that you'll see in a handheld mic, but this is uh, built customized for a uh, different microphone that I have. And of course, the other day, 50 mile an hour winds blew off. A lot of people don't understand what these foam pieces are for. It's to prevent plosive sounds and wind ruffle. Of course, if it's very windy, it ruins the audio. But now listen. Did it make a difference? This is also good to prevent plosive noises, that's uh, popping noises that start with a P, like, uh, like pippity popcorn. You have uh, sound ruffling that happens during production. There's really no way to treat it in post-production, unless you have like a sound engineering degree, but uh, for simple folks like me, it's about getting the right audio on the shot. And as you'll notice on the uh, episode I shot the other day on the roof, my um, audio uh, settings were too loud, so it was peaking. So while you could hear it, it still kind of came out not sounding as professional as I would have wanted. All right, so these are our Christmas cards, hopefully. Ooh, look at this box, they're so nice. Cost way more than I wanted them to. Wow. wow. Look at that, simply to impress. And the only reason we ordered with them is because we had friends send us a card from them and we were like, well, if it's good enough for them, for our bougie friends, then it must be good enough for us. <laughs> we literally looked at no other place. We were like, all right, we want that one. It says unique, affordable, simply impressive. Affordable is relative. All right, nice unboxing. This is, it's a here. nice unboxing. Two additional cards and envelopes free of charge. Wow. Wow. All right, two people, send us a message. We'll send you a Christmas <laughs> card. We spend an extra 20 cents per card to get them beveled like that. I would have cut them <laughs> myself. Now we just need friends to send them to. Bust out the spreadsheet. We got people uh, on YouTube, Dee Dee, Susan. You set, here's my rule. You send me pizza, Susan, you get a postcard. You get a card. <laughs> so thank you so much for all the people that have been so generous. We're heading to Larchmont Village, which is pretty much life goals for anybody who wants to live in a beautiful neighborhood. It's a great, uh, very uh, French-inspired uh, strip of bakeries. Uh, and Tasha's favorite bakery, it's called what, Erin McKenna, is over there. And by the way, shout out to Tasha's um, new eyewear. What are, what are these called? Stoggles. Stoggles, they're good for um, pandemic as they've got the wraparound on the side. What else do they have? Uh, you can get your prescription lenses in them. Um, they do light responsive lenses. They are blocking and anti-fog so you can wear it with a mask and it really works so warm all day yesterday plus she looks like she developed the vaccine herself <laughs> she's got uh, sexy lab coat energy so here's a uh, large mod very beautiful neighborhood um, so we're gonna go over here and get Tasha and I some uh, Christmas inspired um, non-dairy gluten-free um, what else are they non non-dairy pretty much they're vegan uh, it's a vegan cupcake spot which uh, vegan in the uh, Sanskrit language means expensive. Oh, they do look like that. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Show me that. They've got a tint to them. Wow. Oh, nice. Yeah, they look like sunglasses now. Hold up, I oh, am wow. on my well. way. I'm in All right, let's not go crazy. We always say, let's not go crazy, and then we go crazy. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach 
without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We're chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is falling It will Take care, guys. Did it look as Christmassy? I mean, this is the type of place that goes hard on the Instagram photography of food. It's a kosher, gluten-free, vegan donut shop. Look how cute. Oh, you got a cookie? You got a sugar cookie? Some sort of like mocha, it looks like a mocha reindeer. This is like a coffee, chocolate coffee. That's just plain chocolate. I think this is vanilla and oh. this is red velvet. We have a, uh, the, the top tip of the Christmas tree. I think we got an evil donut. All right, these uh, cupcakes will be uh, probably scavenged tonight and into tomorrow morning. When when it comes to eating cupcakes, uh, a cupcake can become a muffin the next morning. Classic cinnamon glazed. It's like a ginger or something. Oh wow, um, give me a little. That was a good bite and suck. I bite, I bite, I bit and sucked up the crumbs at the same time. For anyone who's like, oh, I don't do vegan, you, you would if you ate this, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it's crazy how good this stuff is. It makes you wonder like, what's the secret? How do they get their baked goods so amazing? Sugar. To be allergy friendly. This place could be a star of a Christmas movie. We just watched. The Christmas calendar. Yeah, we just saw the Christmas calendar. It's You've Got Mail for Bakeries. It's the local baker and then the big time baker moves in and they have a bake off and this and that. <laughs> and uh, spoiler alert, everybody falls in love and it ends happy. For just once, I want to make a Christmas movie that ends in disaster. Large Mom is the biggest asshole. <laughs> I was saying to Tasha, this is where Karens come to just let out some steam. It's the most presumptuous people. The two times we went to that bakery, you gotta wait in line outside, it's 2020. The two times we had to deal with people like telling other people what the rules are. I appreciate a Karen like that. See, there's a difference between being like a Karen who's letting everyone know, oh, uh, I'm, the end, I'm the end of the line or uh, one, two, three or whatever. You appreciate that. You want to show up and know that you're standing in the right line. Um, but a Karen, a Karen is like a cop and a robber. A Karen is either a rule enforcer or a rule breaker. If you are a Karen who is a union rep for the rest of the people that are being betrayed, that's the only proper time. If it's just a personal grunt, then it's like whatever. You know, but the funny, the funny thing about 2020, like COVID, it's made every single business have to operate like a red box. And if you're lucky enough to have never shopped at a red box, it is a blockbuster in an ATM machine. And only one person at a time can look at all the movies. And if there's a line and it's your turn to pick a movie, you're going home with Frozen 2 whether you like it or not. The anxiety I used to get shopping at a red box because- and knowing there's people waiting Knowing it's a Friday you. afternoon and there's four people behind me. I, I leave there with like Saw 7 when I went in for a rom-com because I'm like, oh, I just, I just uh, panicked and I picked something. She's getting ready for her end of the, for her 2021 calendar. I haven't decided what brand I'm gonna buy this year. We don't know what brand she's gonna buy this year. What are our options? Normally I get a bloom planner. Normally she gets a bloom planner. I heard there's another planner that's really good. We think there might be another planner that's really good. We don't know yet, we gotta check it out. This is what people tune in for, the nitty gritty. Oh, this looks pretty nice. Too big for my bag. Too big for her bag. That was easy. To hop. That's nice, that'll do. That'll do, it's gold and silver. What? Martha Stewart brand Sharpies. I hope they're fine too. It's good for writing letters in prison. Okay. Tough times for Martha. She's got her own line out of Staples. Boy, no wonder Martha Stewart has a mansion. She's robbing us at Staples. Six bucks for a Sharpie, Martha? We're not in Connecticut any longer. The icing on the... 
like wants to be refrigerated. It's one of those. It's made from coconut oil, so it has a low melting point. We have to keep the vegan donuts air conditioned, lest we ruin the coconut based cream. You know that'll be it. Just the one drink, correct? Yes. For sure, for sure. It'll be a 475. Thank you. Totes. Totes, he said. Trying the Irish cream cold brew. It's almost five dollars, but trying to get these Christmas drinks in. Is Irish cream Christmas? I don't know. Alright, thank you. I'm taste testing the Irish cream coffee. Cold brew. That is amazing. That is very good. Uh, this cannot be healthy for you. Look at the head on that. What is that? $4.75. This is a Friday only beverage. Ah, that's like a cheesecake right there. Well, I'm an idiot. I accidentally drained the battery in Tasha's Prius. Didn't mean to. Gonna see if I can get a jump in this parking lot. I really appreciate the help. I know it's like, kind of sketchy. Hey, I think we're all right. Had worse. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's all good. It should fire up real fast. Hey. guy was a Christmas miracle. That's it folks. Good Samaritan. This man right here in this GMC wouldn't wouldn't take my money but he helped me jump my car. That's such a good feeling. I tried to give him I only had 10 bucks on me and I was like look man I know this is really sketchy that I'm here in a Starbucks and he goes, now I get it, I get it. And uh, he wouldn't take my money. I really, I said, come on, give me, let me take my, you know, take my money. And the guy wouldn't take it. So cheers to him. Good guy. Boy, I, I've never felt so desperate. I mean, obviously because of the pandemic, you don't want to be, be approaching people. But um, there was a guy there with his one or two kids. And he looked like he knew what he was doing. I had my jumper cable. So all I really needed was someone who just, come over, plug them in, and start up right away. Yeah, I have AAA, but if anyone lives in LA, you know, if you've ever had to use AAA, it, you know, it, it might show up two hours later, this or that, it's a whole hassle. So I really appreciate that random guy's help. If you're out there, thank you so much. And I bet you, not only do I appreciate that, that Good Samaritan's help, I bet you he feels better seeing my gratitude and for helping out, and maybe even if there was a Starbucks employee looking out, seeing him help me, I bet you that Starbucks employee also felt good. You know, because we all got to see something good happen amongst strangers. And boy, let me tell you, we need more of that in this world, don't we? Not to mention now, I don't have to listen to Tasha be like, how did you mess up my car? What happened? Whew, so. You had this job for an hour, so I went to a Starbucks to get some work done. By the time I get there, I barely got anything done, but I filmed the thing I wanted to film. But I'm trying to keep the I'm trying to keep the pastries, you know, cool. I got the I got the I got these vegan cupcakes. I'm trying to keep cool like it's an organ transplant. And then all of a sudden it's time to leave. I can feel that the AC's kind of died. And I go to turn that on and I can't turn the car on. The I video So you turned the car off. So what I probably did being passive with my uh, fault plan here. What I probably did some somewhere was thought the car was on, but it wasn't, and I was sucking up just the dashboard, you know, battery. With so your uh, computer. No, my computer wasn't plugged in. I was using the GoPro, so nothing was plugged in except for my iPhone. But what I Googled was it said 12 volt battery low, and it turns out in the Prius there's a separate battery in the back that's only there to start the main system. So it's a very small battery which I immediately, so I, I, I barreled through that. So I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, oh, I'll have you Uber to me 
and then it will call AAA, and I'm like, ah, oh, geez, this could be hours just knowing AAA. And then I was like, I got the jumper cables, and I, at, at one point I thought maybe I like fried your dashboard because things were blinking. And I was like, oh, geez, I'm gonna be blamed. Literally, you use the car 99.9% .9 of the time, and then I touch it like the Midas touch, and everything goes to shit. So. I just still really don't understand what happened. So you you turned the car off. I must have somehow. But we're still in it. Yeah, I must have turned the car off somehow or another in the Starbucks parking lot. I was only in there for like 30 minutes, but it's enough to drain the battery. And then- But what, if you're sitting in the car with the uh, car on, what it does is it uses gas every once in a while. To boost the battery, exactly. which is what I thought was happening. That's why I wasn't worried about it. Cause I was like, oh, it'll kick on, whatever. But I was also recording a YouTube video. So who knows? You know, my attention wasn't on the car. So anyway, Will I'm the like- video show evidence? you turning off the car absentmindedly. I just don't understand, if the car is off, it shouldn't be draining battery, and if the car is on, it should be recharging its own battery. We could litigate this all day long. I messed up somehow. The, the video is not gonna show it. I probably turned the car off before the video when I should have just turned the vents off. You are very lucky that there was a person there ready to help, for sure. And I would have helped anyone too. Anyone who's ever jumped a car knows it literally takes two seconds. Like it's like pushing someone's car out if they're stuck in a snowbank. It's like if you'd, be, you'd have to be a real a-hole to not help. But if it's at night and I'm asking a lady, I can totally understand being like, "Sorry, buddy, I can't help you. You might kill me." I totally get that. So for me to find a, a nice gentleman in his truck, he had a couple kids in the back seat. He was able to probably show his kids what a good Samaritan looks like. <laughs> yeah, he was a good dad. He was a good yeah. dad. So um, shout out to you, Mr. GMC. You jump started my day. Appreciate you. I tried to buy him a Starbucks. I said, please take my money. I, I you know, I hate myself. And uh, he just wouldn't take it. I mean, he's in a $50,000 car. But I was like, you know, I immediately went in there with humility being like, oh, I'm in my fiance's car. I don't know how to use it. I'm an asshole, blah, blah, blah. I hate myself. Christmas sucks. What can you do for me? My toes are sweating. You know, I got I got some uh, I got some uh, gluten-free. I thought about giving him a gluten-free cupcake. I but mean, I was like, I oh, Tosh would be so pissed if I gave away. literally feel your stress through the phone. So the plan was to finish our Christmas cards a month ago. Then the new plan was to finish them today. But I think tomorrow's a good day to finish them. Here's the crazy part. When you date somebody and when you're getting engaged, you both know different people and then you have to combine them together. And I think we underestimated how many people we know and care about in our life. So this is a good learning step before we send out wedding invitations. Yeah, I totally understand how people end up with like 400 person weddings. I just imagine like a wall of faces and you're just looking at that cousin going, no, I guess I'm never <laughs> talking to you again. <laughs> uh, tomorrow morning, we'll use our new Martha Stewart shopping system. And we'll I'm do convinced a- convinced this is not for paper. What if I do a, uh, just a vlog tomorrow on the effectiveness of Martha Stewart Sharpies. You keep saying Martha. I can't pronounce it. Martha. <laughs> you keep saying like Martha. Yeah, I'm dyslexic and I grew up with a speech impediment. That's why we're not going to be stuffing the envelopes as it were tonight. But we'll save that for the morning when the uh, lighting's better. Sound good? Fine. Baby steps. We can, you can't be hard on yourself for not, you know, this is our first time doing Christmas cards. Oh, how many relationships have probably ended over Christmas cards? Some guy being like, I'm not sending a card to your second cousin. The lady's like, well, I blew your best friend. <laughs> Tis the season. Thank you guys so much for watching this every single day. You guys have been amazing. I know some of you said, oh, we can't wait for Christmas to be over because then we're not gonna get any more of your vlogs. Well, I am exhausted. No, it's been amazing. It's been such a uh, weird little uh, exercise, a 5K of the mind, if you will. And um, it's been nice sharing a little bit of my world with you as this is a strange Christmas away from a lot of friends and family due to the pandemic. But we're happy to have you guys here. Thank you so thank you so much for all the gifts and donations and random things and letters of support. It's really been amazing. A small but loyal army. Until tomorrow, see you next time. Hey.